paprika. You know how a lot of spices, you know where they come from? So like ginger, coriander, garlic powder, I know where that comes from, but where does paprika come from? Is it ground up something? I don't think it is, it's powder spice. I think it's, it's almost like cumin. I think it's chilli, isn't it? My husband loves it. Does he? And it's in half jack. Pop, pops it on, everything. Everything, and I mean everything. Yeah. The spice, so it's in the little small bottles that you get with all the spices. Yeah. Do you know where it comes from? No, I don't, I'm sorry. I've got a feeling paprika's from tomato. So paprika is what like Spanish for tomato powder or something? Correct. Perfect. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. To find out more about this fiery flavouring, I'm off to the country where it gets sprinkled over every meal at every time of day. It's breakfast time in Hungary, and have a little look at what's on my egg. That is paprika. The Hungarians eat a colossal half kilo of the stuff every year. That's more than anyone else in Europe. So to pinpoint a paprika, I've come to the right place. I've arrived in Budapest Great Market Hall, which has everything you need to stuff a cabbage or garnish a goulash. Hi. Hi. Kate. Gabor. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. <laughs> so we're going to try some paprika? Absolutely, yeah. I know the best places. Fantastic. Right, let's go. Gabor Banfalvi organises food tours around Hungary. He's keen to introduce me to their national dishes. And every national dish features their national spice. Boy, this is a paprika feast. Look at these colours. What's that? Beautiful, hot paprika paste or puree, uh, which is a very common thing here to put into your soup. Go for it. Let's have a little try. That is delicious. It's got a real warmth, hasn't yeah. it, from the paprika? Why is paprika so integral to Hungarian cuisine? It goes back to our history. Uh, we were introduced to paprika uh, like 300 years ago uh, by the Turks and um, it slowly became uh, a big part of our, of our national cuisine. Do you almost use paprika as you would salt and pepper? I mean, is it, is it that common? It's very common. If you go to a restaurant, you'll see salt and paprika. I've enjoyed my Hungarian banquets, but I still haven't spotted a paprika plant. So my next stop's a family-run farm in the south of Hungary. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello, my name is Peter. <laughs> Hello. So you grow paprika? Yes, we do. Actually, my family does. We're going to go picking? Yep. All right, let's go. Peter's family have been producing their own paprika here for the last 42 years. So this is paprika? Yes, it is. It looks like a chilli. No, it's just a paprika. What exactly is a paprika, though? It's just pepper. Type of pepper? Type of pepper. Can I take a bite? Yeah. Mmm. That's like the sweetest pepper I've ever eaten. It's got no heat in it at all. No. So if paprika is simply a type of pepper, and these peppers are so sweet, I wonder what makes the paprika I eat at home so spicy. So are these paprika ready to harvest? Yes, it is. Should we get going? Yeah, sure. You just find the very best nice red colour. Yes. Oh, those are all good. Look. Much like winemaking, there's a fine art to producing paprika. The pepper has to ripen on the vine and be picked at exactly the right time to ensure a good vintage. What on earth are these? Are you making salami? Ah, oh, it's just a giant sock filled with paprika. Red socks. What are you doing with the paprika here? It's a drying process by wind and by sun and we keep them for, for four weeks or five weeks. So the old water is, has just gone. Drying the peppers into this paprika potpourri maintains the rich red color. These persons are one by one, remove the stalk, and have a look which one is the wrong one. 
Peter's farm relies on traditional production methods. Each pepper is carefully de-stalked by hand, which makes this paprika a relatively expensive premium product. He's saying that you should do a little bit quicker. <laughs> right, OK, let's go. Whoa, he's fast. With the stalks removed, the paprika peppers are sliced and put into a drying machine to remove the last bits of moisture before they're ground. Ah! This is your paprika? Yeah, that's the final part. Huh? That red is so vibrant, isn't it? It smells so good. Right, I'm going to have a little try. That is very good. tasty. I don't think I've ever tasted a paprika that has that much flavour in it before. Why is that different to anything that I might buy in the supermarket at home? Because it's 100% natural and handmade. 